Hello friends and fellow gamers, MKXJump here, and today we're hopping back into Angel Legion onto my account to see if we can make some more progress with our heroes. Now, it's been a really funny week for Angel Legion as they've been having some technical difficulties with the code redemption. I'm sure a lot of you have heard about this if you've started playing. It's been all the buzz in the Angel Legion Discord at the moment, but thankfully they've managed to fix it. So that's good. So if you guys want to go ahead and redeem some code, you can go into the description down below. There's still a chance to redeem this month's code, so make sure you go ahead and click the link uh, make sure to copy the code in the description add your account information paste in the code and make sure you put your server in there too and then you will get yourself some rewards to help you with your account uh, so yeah there's still time to cash in this month's code so if you guys have never played angel legion before and you're curious to try this game out do go ahead and give it a download start up an account and uh, make sure you get this month's rewards in before next month comes because it is the end of april so you've only got a few days left anyway with all that said, uh, let me remind you as well, today's video is sponsored by the makers of this game. So if you do enjoy it, as I said, why not go ahead and give this game a try? Totally free to play and available from all mobile providers. And it's also available on the Microsoft Store and Steam if you play on PC. Anyway, folks, let's go ahead and hop in with today's video for Angel Legion. So here we are, folks. Welcome back to the Angel Legion account, and we need to do some cashing in of rewards. This week is a whole week that has been giving Eternal Night Armor, which is quite fun. You can see here I spent a little bit of money to get myself some rewards, and to top up my star coupons was running a little bit low, so I bought 100 bucks worth or so. So you can see here that's given me some stuff, which is quite nice because it means we can go ahead and... See if we can get a piece of this armor. I'm also very tempted to pick this up to maybe get another piece of armor. It depends how many Eternal Night Shard pieces I have in total. So let's go ahead to the storage first and grab this. And uh, too much equipment. <laughs> oh, classic. Okay, let me see if I can fuse real quick. Let's see what we can do here. Um, that'll be exactly because I've just done a cruise in campaign and that's where your equipment normally gets filled up So uh, the joys of clearing through all the missions also bio cabins give you something here That's actually quite nice. So we'll get that in there and uh, yeah, let's go back to the storage Let's see if we can get something here. What are we gonna grab? Boots. Oh, and that's my first ever item that's quite fun. Now, if we go look at the, the thing here, it's called like Eternal Knife Fantasy, and that tells us everything. Are the boots the rarest one? Oh, <gasps> they are. Oh, this is the crit armor. You know what? Just because that's the case, I'm actually going to buy the pack because anything other than boots is going to be really good here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go ahead. What can we get from this then? Bang. Let's find out. Okay, here we go. Second time. As long as we don't get the boots, I'm happy. Oh, <gasps> chest piece. Wait, 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 wait. Hello. Claim all this stuff initially. That's going to be some coupons for us. This is fantastic. Oh, my word. Which means if I go to the Eternal Fantasy, if I spent just a little bit, I'd get a necklace. And then is it gloves? Oh, it is. Yo, so I got the rarest two, which are the two right at the bottom. Oh, this is really good. <gasps> oh. So how much would we need to spend to get a full set of Eternal Armor? Not too much, I don't think. Ooh. No, I didn't consider this at all. This is very exciting. Okay, and how many Eternal Shards are we on right now? Zero, so I get 15 from here. If I do a little bit of Spendy Wendy, I get 45. That takes me to 60, so I can get some more in a future event as well. Okay. That's, yeah, that's really interesting. So if I went ahead, we could get ourselves our first ever full set of gear. I've never been in that position before, not on this account. Let's do it. It's a VIP series. We might as well get some good armor. So I'll see you in a second, folks. I'm going to get some star dollars. Okay, so I've bought us a few thousand star dollars here, so we can claim our combat support there. Now let's go to the Eternal Knight Fantasy. Let's start cashing some of this stuff in. So we'll buy this. We'll get this. And we'll keep going all the way down. We get some pretty cool looking fashion piece there. Grab that. Grab this, and now we can get our first piece, which is going to be a necklace. So that's in here. 
And then we're going to need to get this, this, and then just keep going down here. All right, so we get these last two bits. And there you go, folks. That is potentially a full set of armor. Also, we get tons of rewards here, which is fantastic. Let's go to the combat support. We're on 3,400. So I've already gone and bought a chest for this week. So that extra 3,000, what are we going to spend that on? I think we'll definitely go with War Spirit. That's really, really valuable. So let's get that stuff in. Nice. And then we've got 1,400 left. What do I need? Let's think about that. I could just go and get hero copies, maybe. Um, or actually just resources. I could really use resources. That might be quite a good idea. Hmm. Yeah, let's get some resources on the account. Because I'm always short on resources. So I'm going to go ahead and grab as much of this as I can for gold. We'll do the same for force. Get that in. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab a ton of gold from here. Pull that there. Bang. Done. Perfect. All right. So let's then go to, I guess, Time Jumper. I guess, does she need this? No, she's already got pretty solid equipment here that's all martial stuff. So I think we're going to leave that. We're going to claim this in, the uh, that piece of armor. That's pretty cool. It's the first time I've ever got one of them as well. This is great for this account then. And then if I go to the, uh, the hero that needs crit. So it could be Time Guard in here. We could give her something. She's got Master though. So maybe it's Butterfly Girl. Oh, Butterfly Girl's currently not wearing anything. Of course she's not. Um, but right, let's see what we got from this. So we got hit on that neck. That's good. Hit, dodge, crit, resist, HP. That's really, really good. Okay, this is HP, attack, hit, crit. What a fantastic piece that is. Okay, this is crit, resist, physical defense, damage, resistance, attack. Amazing. And then this is attack, damage, boost, crit. Wow, that's some really good pieces. Holy moly, right, this is huge for stats. So much stuff here with the Eternal Knight set. And also, because we've got it, there's a chance that we can cause sleep on our opponents if we're in the boots. We can cause petrify with the gloves. We've got a chance to put insulation on with the necklace. And then with the armor, we've also got a chance to stun. So there's extra crowd control we're going to be doing, Butterfly Girl as well. So this is really exciting. I am absolutely loving this. So let's go see what she's doing now she's on 24 percent hit 26 percent crit resist with a 93 percent chance to crit ho oh, okay butterfly girl you are going to be stealing energy at a fantastic rate with this this is absolutely amazing uh yeah so butterfly girl is going to absolutely shred with all this upgrade stuff on this is really good and the palace uh wait 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 Current team members enjoying prey bonus. Ah, so let's go set up the defensive lineup then. Let's go see how much power that puts us on. So we're off to the arena. Let's go onto our defensive team and um, just put that in there. Hey, we're nearly at... Wow. We're nearly at 5 million power. That's fantastic. Okay. And is there anything else we can do to bump our power up? I guess we could increase Arcane Scholar, but to do that, we're going to need some S-tier heroes. So let's go to the storage, see if we can summon anything out. we got three opportunities for S heroes. Nice. Let's make them into SS if we can. So let's back out. Let's go to the cabin and let's see what we've got here. So biological cabin, advance. We need to build some of these. So I've got a health scythe here. I've got an executioner there. Put in these canisters. And we did recently buy a ton of these canisters just now. So that's going to be even more progress we can make. Fantastic. We're going to see a huge spike coming through now in power then. This is brilliant. So advance all that there. What else can we throw? We've got a shy girl here. She's got sergeant. Fantastic. Put those in advance. And uh, yeah, let's back out. Let's go see how many more star levels that's going to put on our Arcane Scholar. Because inevitably, we wanted to get it to Red Star for our prey and our resonance. So let's go. Upgrading this. That's going to be two star gold. Gold! All right. What do we get here? Three star gold. And let's get to four star gold with Stormwitch coming in there. And uh, yeah, we now need just one more SS hero. So let's go pull them in. This should be pretty easy. Scanning through. Who can we build? Who have we got a copy of? We got Sergeant here. And she needs a Storm Witch, which we don't have. There's a Punkatar there. Raging Angel. So we could make that. We got... Hmm. Let's do some summons. Let's see if we can get ourselves a hero. I'm going to try and keep some advanced recruit devices on the account. 
I don't want to use too many because we might need them at some point Um, because it is the end of this event. Oh, Shy Girl, that's good. And let's see if we can get someone else who's fodder, maybe. Come on. Storm Witch, perfect. Absolutely perfect. That'll do it then. So we go into Advance. I'm going to go click on Sergeant. And that Storm Witch is then going to go in. And we'll use a few of the fodder heroes here. So we've got a Dragon Knight or two there. Perfect. So we advance this, and that's going to be an SS Sergeant. So we go to our heroes. Let's go to Arcane Scholar. And now she is very, very comfortably a Gold Star 5 hero. Fantastic. So to advance this further, I'm going to need three SS Arcane Scholars. Now, how many copies of Arcane Scholar are we sitting on right now? We have some, but not a lot, I'm guessing. We've got three. Oh, we've got three? Huh. Who do we need? Is it, is it, is it Swordmaster? Let's go double check. I might be right, I might be wrong, it might be totally someone else. So I'm going to go put in that... Oh! It is Swordmaster. Now, do I have enough food to do this? I got Shy Girl. Um, Actually, I do have a few heroes here, don't I? Yeah, I think we can do this. It's going to be tight, but it's doable. So we'll put in Magic Arrow. We put in Shy Girl. And then I'll put in Raging Angel. We'll advance this. There's one copy. We'll do exactly the same thing. So I'm going to put in another fodder hero or two. So there's a Raging Angel. We'll put in a Punkatar. We'll put in a second Punkatar. So there you go. And now we need to buy ourselves a Swordmaster. We've got one bore out here. Well, it's fortunate then that I got the Katana Chest in this week's event. So let's go ahead to this Katana Chest and let's get ourselves a Swordmaster. So we'll claim her through. And that means we should be able to go ahead and build ourselves Arcane Scholar up, if we've got some heroes to use as food. Which, ooh, we might not. So how are we going to get some extra food on this so we can complete this? we got some stuff to claim here. Ah, oh, of course, for spending, that's fantastic. And oh, my rebate level went up? Whoa! Whoa! Holy hero copies! That's insane! I'm a new level on the rebate tree. This is really good. Oh, yeah, that means I could change my avatar picture as well. Fantastic. I got a new frame that says I'm even more of a whale than I thought I was. Nice. So put that on there. That looks freaking awesome. How badass. And now what I'm going to go do, I can happily go and build a hero because we just got all that stuff coming in. Nice. All right. So we're going to go and put, I guess we'll just grab our arcane scholar wherever she's gone. I think she's down there at the bottom. Yep. And let's put some more food heroes in. So we got Hellscythe, we got Hellscythe, and we have a... We could go with that Punk Guitar, but we got a Magic Arrow up there. That's perfect. And there you go. That's going to be another Arcane Scholar built and made, which means now we can Red Star this Arcane Scholar easily. There you go. 300 SS Arcane Scholar Shards. Really nice buffing up our power level. Really cool. So a little bit of extra strength there. Now let's see if we can improve the levels of our heroes. So we've got Time Jumper, Dark Shooter, and Butterfly Girl all at 360. So we need to try and get Time Guardian up and Raging Angel. So I'm actually going to focus, I think, we can go with Arcane Scholar. That's going to bump up Mysterious Girl eventually, if we can get Mysterious Girl to gold tier. So actually, I'm just going to go with Raging Angel to 300 and then put the rest into Time Guardian. Let's do that. So I'm going to hold up upgrade until we get to 300 on Raging Angel. This shouldn't be too hard. We're nearly there. There you go. Final click there. That's 300. And now everything else is going to go into Time Guardian. Let's get that power on the account, shall we, folks? Here we go. Gunning through. There we go. Yep. Almost there. We got to three, four, five. Perfect. Let's get some of that gold we bought and cash that in. So if we go to our items, let's scroll all the way down. We got these gold chests. Look at that. 14 million gold coming through here. We're going to have a bunch more coming from there. So that's another five and a half million. Let's grab this. That is going to be 13 million. Now let's see if we can go take our team higher. Let's see if we can get Time Guardian. Can we get to 360? That'll be fantastic if we can hold this down. Oh, we're nearly there. We just need a little bit more gold. Anything else in the storage? 
No, nothing that I can use for gold apart from this 24-hour chest there. So let's go get some gold in other ways because we're so close. We might as well. Let's go get some resources. I'm going to buy this twice. Let's see what resources we can pull from this. Can we get a bunch? Uh, okay, that was pretty good. A lot of gold coming in there. No high rolls, though. Didn't see 10 million show up at all. And from this one, we get ourselves... Okay, a little bit more there. So let's see if that's enough to get ourselves to level 360. Here we go. Hold down the button. Are we going to get it there? Yes, we are. And we're out of everything. We've got no force left, no gold left. And we are done. Level 360 on Time Guardian. So that means we've got one, two, three, four level 360 heroes, a level 260 Arcane Scholar, and a level 300 Raging Angel. Tons of bonus stats now on the Butterfly Girl. Because of the Eternal Knight set, she looks absolutely amazing in that armor. Wow. Doesn't that look fantastic? So let's go ahead and put this team to the test to see if we can clear the latest part of the battlefield that I have been struggling with. So if we can get this beat, this is going to be absolutely fantastic. So here we go. Come on, let's play her out. Is Butterfly Girl going to absolutely shred away their energy? She's going to have a ton of hit. Let's find out. We start off with Dark Shooter. Here she comes. Bang, stunning the opponent there. That's really, really good. But I think they resisted it. Uh, no, we got through. And oh, massive energy steal from our butterfly girl. Oh, this is going to be really easy. Surely now. Absolutely. Can we get a good stun here? Okay, no, they resisted it. But here comes time jumper. Oh, good hit there. Fantastic. I think if we can soften them up enough. Come on, can we get the big energy steal again from Butterfly Girl? Crazy! Oh my word, that new armor means we're stealing energy so easily, which means Battlefield just got a heck of a lot easier. Oh, here's Ares. We're going to get an execute? No, we didn't. So we need to charge that one back up again. All right, here we go. Energy drain still coming from the basic. Fantastic. Electronic interference is going to force them to do a basic here as well. There's a stun. Oh, that's really good. Here comes Time Jumper. Boom, really nice. All we need now is Ares to come in and we totally win this. Do we get a stun from Dark Shooter? We get a kill from Dark Shooter. There's Butterfly Girl with more stealing of energy. Who cares? I mean, Butterfly Girl's dead, but Ares is going to get the execute. We absolutely dominated that. That is huge. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So the team instantly made so much more powerful thanks to grabbing that stuff. So yeah, if you ever do decide to spend on this game, if you stockpile a lot of your star dollars, sometimes grabbing that armor can be pretty good. Like I wouldn't have gone for the armor if I didn't get the other stuff. Like when we got these shards, for example, I got very, very lucky with what we pulled. So the fact that this one here and the other stuff we've accumulated all came together to create a, so basically the rarest two items, right? The two that you have to go ahead and purchase uh, at the very bottom, the, the armor piece and the boots. You know, that's 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 quite hard to go and spend all the way down this list. But the fact that we didn't have to, I'm actually pretty happy then that we were able to just get the gloves, get the necklace and pretty much high roll. So, yeah, huge power boost for the team today. Very excited to see next time just how far, thanks to that boost, we can go. And a potentially very soon we're going to get ourselves a gold star mysterious girl. And I think we're getting very close to a point now where in the palace we're going to be seeing a resonance level of 360, which means we could potentially get some legend heroes. If you want to go see all that, guys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you're curious about making progress in Angel Legion or trying it out for yourself, it's totally free to play. So why not give it a download? I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for tuning in. And of course, have a good week and happy idling.